Hey guys, welcome to the Data Tech channel. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Here we talk about the modern data technologies and do hands-on practice with them. This is a video series about the Apache Spark. We are learning the concepts of Spark using PySpark. Till the last video, we learned how to load data into a data frame or how to create a data frame. In this video, we are going to see how to work with with the data frame. So without further ado, let's start. So as usual for any Spark applications, we need to initiate our Spark session and import the necessary library. So that's we doing in the, our first cell uh, is importing the Spark session and SQL types and the functions and then initiating the Spark session. And here, the first thing which like to work with the data frames, we, we we need to load the data frames and we saw it in the last video how to do it so i'll skip it and if you guys have messed it i'll provide the link to the last video in the description you can go from there okay once your data is loaded what's the first thing you want to do to explore the data you want to select some columns and you want to see the values in them so the to do that data like we have to use the select function of uh, spark data frame and it can be passed with like single value or multiple values so if you look at this example in the first two line we are just selecting one column and presenting it and here this the highlighted piece of piece of code is returning a data frame which we are storing in a data frame named df and then presenting in the last one we are selecting multiple columns and just showing them so you can see in the output that here we have only one column and here we have multiple columns. So next function we're gonna look at the how to update or add a new column. So for that Spark provide with column function. So with column function allow us to add a new column to the data frame or change the value of existing column. And even we can convert the data type of the columns and even create a like and also can create a, like a calculated field or a drive new column from an existing one. So here you can see that in the first two lines, what we're doing, we are creating a new, or we are adding a new column named country and populating its, and populating the value using the literal function US. So literal function will literally use the value which we entered in there. So what this will do, this will create a new column named country and it will load the US as a value in all the records of this column. And you can see it here too, like when, after showing the first five, like after showing the five lines, you can see that we have a new column named country and all five records have the same value US, which we're doing here. And next thing with, with column, as we wanna, if you wanna update it, we can do that too. So here you will see, like we we changing our height column. Height is a column which exists in our player data frame. So we what we doing? We dividing it by two point five four. So height initially present in the data set was in the centimeter. We converting into the inches. So we will divide it by two point five four. And here you can look at this, the output of this, and we can do the comparison here too. So if you look at the you look at the height column before updating it like it have values 182 170 which is like in centimeters and after dividing by 2.54 like it's updated the column and it's like 72 67 these are in inches so now we know how to add or update a column the next thing is like if you want to rename a column so in select like you know we can use aliases but with data frame it's a bit different we need to use a function called with column rename to change the column name and for this we need to pass two parameters one is the existing column and second is the new column so if you look at the here what i have did it's like i just renamed the height column to the height in inches so before this this is the output of our uh, this is the this is how our player data frame looks like but after renaming you can see like our column name got changed so this is how we rename the columns. 
So next thing we is like if you want to drop a column. So generally in SQL, like you will select only those columns if you want. And we can do the same here too. But if you want to drop some unnecessary columns or you 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 want to modify your data frame for that, the best thing is like you can for that there is an, a function available in Spark data frame named drop and it works pretty much like uh, call uh, select function where you pass where you can pass a single or multiple columns so here you will see we will first print the schema of the player df and after that we'll drop two columns and then print the schema again and there is another so we have like two data frames the other one is the player attribute one where we are dropping like bunch of columns and player attribute df have like a lot of columns so and we will print like what columns uh, only remaining. So first we look at this output of this code. So here you can see in our uh, player DF, we have ID, player API ID, player name, player FIFA API ID, birthday, height, weight, country, these columns. But we drop ID and player FIFA API ID. So after that, our player data frame player uh, data frame will have only these columns so if you see the id is not there and player fifa id is not there too like after play name you have only birthday and here i just like like if you want to see the columns like i i always prefer print schema but like if you want to see the columns of your data frame you can use the columns uh, um function too so in the player sorry player attribute we are dropping so many columns so as i said you can drop single or multiple columns using the drop function okay so next is uh, if you want to do like a case when kind of scenario so for that in spark we have when and otherwise function which is um, very straightforward easy to understand for that like if you look for example in we want to create a new reason uh, like we sorry we want to create a new column named reason in our existing da player data frame based on when country is uh, like us so reason will be north america otherwise it's unknown so it's pretty much like if else or case when kind of statement so for that we use when and otherwise functions so if you look at this like it's very intuitive like it's not confusing till here we know like this is like how we create a new column and after that when and you pass the column which to which you want to do the conditional like you want to check the condition so you want to check if country is us make it north america otherwise unknown and you just need to be careful about the syntax like when can be followed by multiple when and then in the end you can have otherwise so you can have like so what i mean by that like you can have another when kind of condition and in the end like you can pretty much like a case when where you can have like multiple case when and similarly same thing can be done here too and and here you can look at the output of this it's like we added a new column and um, if the country is US it's North America and we know that in our country column like all the fields have only us uh, value as we use the literal function and here i'm just printing our like at the end like how many counts we have so this is how we do when and otherwise function and uh, you can like practice more based on like uh, like just look at your case when condition and you can like uh, switch it to the when and otherwise and next thing is the where and filter clause. This is like pretty straightforward as we have in our um, SQL 2 or in like Python. So which is basically just use the dot where clause or I'll not say clause, the dot where function and pass the condition what you want. So here we, what we're doing is like we filtering all the players which whose weight is greater than 190. So they're like 790 players whose weight is greater than that. So this count is like total number of uh, players, but the other one, this one is like filtered one. So you can use uh, dot where and dot filter. They both work in some similar way. 
so what I mean by dot filter so here instead of where you can use the filter function too it will give you the same result The next thing is the distinct, which is like a, um, very straightforward too, where you, we, want the, we want to do the count of distinct. So we just use the distinct function and it will give us the count. So here we're using the player attribute df and doing a distinct on it. Uh, sort is also very straightforward. For sorting, you use either sort or order by. So as we know, from SQL or Python like order by you can order by a single column or multiple columns and same thing you can do with the short too and here in the output you can see I have sorted by player API ID you will see that and by default it's ascending as usual so you can see that it's it's increasing it's only five records but here also we can see the uh, impact of sorting aggregation is uh, it's, it's it's bit I'll say different the concept is same but the the way of doing is different so if you look at this the first thing is even SQL we have to group by against that dimension so that's what we are doing here group by is straightforward nothing confusing but for the aggregation you have to use dot EAG function and then use the column name and what you want to do with it like you want to do an average sum count this is like one way there is another ways of doing this too but I find this is more uh, easy to understand or like easy to do so here you just pass the function and what kind of aggregation you want to do it and here we are just printing the result of it and the last thing is the join so join if you coming from the Python background this is very straightforward join is like you pick the car like you the table like just think it as a table so like data frame and just constant like const just think uh data frame as a table so here we trying to join a player df with the player attribute df so for that you just need player data frame dot uh, player data frame dot join and in the join function the first parameter is the table to it you are joining the second is the condition and the last one is the what type of join you're doing so if you don't buy, pass the type it's by default inner join all the time but you can change it to the left right or uh, full outer join whatever you want and the second parameter is the condition here like it's a straightforward just one we are joining only on one condition but you can have multiple condition in that case what you do you like define your conditions uh, and assign it to a, a variable so for example I'm just saying condition I'm not going to do it because we don't have other things to provide but we can do this like and let's say ID equal to ID I'm just making it up and then our conditions Sorry, we need to use and no something like that and then you can eat and this will be like date equal to date and after that you can use this condition here So that's pretty uh, straightforward nothing confusing I know like this is in this video you will be like oh these are some basic examples but we are like now uh, we are building up uh, the basics like if you have a strong basics it's easy to understand the advanced stuff so uh, that's pretty much for this video thanks again for watching and stay safe have a good one